so today Patrick and I are going to be using the Randonautica app and what we're focusing on is a cryptic a cryptid that was found in this area specifically it was a rake or a ghoul um, this is the most adjacent body of water that it was actually found or, or that it was actually seen and the story is that there is a bridge further up that way which is actually at this point blocked off for work that what happened was I think somebody was getting pulled over there as a, an officer on that bridge and something leaped on the bridge and then leaped on the officer's car and leapt off the bridge and they described it pretty much like your typical rake uh, very tall all white so what we want to do today is we've come to the general area where the thing was seen and where the stories are at and we're going to use randonautica and focus our intent on actually the cryptid or the rake itself and see will randonautica give us these locations or give us a potential location that's adjacent to it or maybe where it's sleeping at um i'll continue the video from here as we decide where we're going and what randonautica brings up All right, so we ran Randonautica and it's sending us three minutes away with that, with our intent based on finding this cryptid. Um, where it's sending us is actually a local cemetery. If you've read the lores about these kinds of creatures, is that they typically hang out by bodies of water and they typically hang out by cemeteries because they say they feast on, uh, you know, the bodies and things like that. Um, let's see if there's a body of water near it. I don't think there is, is there? Muddy Creek is near it. So what we might do is we're going to go check out this, this perfect three minutes away, connected to Muddy Creek, which is connected to all the creeks in this area, and then it's by a cemetery. <laughs> that's exactly that's exactly where, where the location would be. Yeah. That's exactly where a rake would hang out at. There's been stories in actually Indiana of people coming up on an old cemetery in the middle of the night and seeing one of these things and what was near the cemetery was some kind of water. Hi Patrick. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna head there. The dog man. The dog sorry. Right. I'm running now. I got the camera going. So we're talking about what would happen if we actually ran into it and then we sort of brought up dog man and how you were saying Oh like hey, what are you gonna do? Yeah. yeah, people like I've heard several stories about how people try to shoot the dog man, and they say it's not, it's got like bulletproof vest on, like armor it looks like, and like it doesn't do nothing to it. Like like they put like like five six rounds in it, and it doesn't yeah. even flinch. You know, I heard copper bullets are supposed to do something, but then in some of the more extreme stories I've heard is that people came in and used sound. place they picked was like you said it was three minutes away connected to a Methodist church I believe turn left onto Kingsview Drive I got about 13% battery because I'm uploading another video from today so let's hope the battery doesn't cut out uh, what am I doing I got a way to plug it in right here about one minute till we get there. I'll just keep recording. I don't know, man. I'm like, I'm getting bad anxiety. Really? I didn't do that with our last location, but like, <laughs> it's weird, man. I just feel well, nervous. That's a sign. Hiring Advics Dash Ohio. What is this place all about? Manufacturing. Hopefully, you know, we got a good intro. 
entrance to where we can get in. It looks like there's a church, so we should be able to like park, in park and praise Jesus and then go in. Gotcha. As I said, up here to the right. So to the left. To the left. Is that the church? That looks like the church Turn right there. Turn left on the Columbia Road. Cemetery. Then your destination will be on the right. Just go straight. There's the cemetery. Yeah, just wait. Yeah, just keep straight. It looks like you can park directly in the cemetery. It looks like people are just parked up on the road, to be honest. Yeah, it does. Maybe you can just park on the side of the road. That's what I'm wondering. Let me... But that looks like you can just keep going straight. Yeah. No, what's it say? No. Oh, I would just keep going. It might say no, uh... No alcoholic beverages per minute. Your destination is on the right. No trespassing after dark. Okay. Oh, perfect. On the right. So is it saying it's over here? Uh, we'll just go. Oh, no, we gotta go around this bend. The church itself is the destination, but what we're gonna do is trek into the woods a little. Dude, right there, that body of water, man. Yeah. See all that? It's not, it didn't show that on here, I don't think, that close. Did it? No, it showed a creek, it didn't show that. No, look at that. So we'll, we'll go outside the cemetery, but we'll park here in the cemetery. The church is creepy. Yeah, it is. <laughs> and it's a Masonic, pretty old cemetery. Masonic, isn't it? That that, we've seen those before. What? Those are the Masonic ones. That yeah. temple looking, the one that looks like Oh, yeah. There's a nice creek down there, so we have to cut in back through the creek. We'll have to look at the maps. Can I actually see this? Yeah. Before? Okay, done. Ah, oh, shit, why did I do that? So, that body of water is there. But it looks like we're at the cut to a farmer's field, which I don't advise. Oh, gosh. Um, there goes Muddy Creek, so we've got some options. Option one is not to cut through that big ass field. Okay, so we're at the cemetery. It's not one of the creepier cemeteries we've been to, but the whole point in this is this is where Randonautica sent us originally. So we're sort of going to look around for any evidence of a cryptid or something like that. It's the same kind of symbolism. I don't really think it's symbolism anymore. It's just probably what they typically use to represent something. These are some older ones. Just want to ask, we'll dig into history. Yeah. It's a smaller cemetery for sure. What's the chances, dude? Can you give us a cemetery next to a body of water? Yeah. That is interesting. And we're not that far from the siding either. No, so, yeah, we're about three minutes from where the initial siding was at of the, uh, the rake over here in Lebanon, Ohio. This is where I'd be looking to see if the hood... If Same it, here. It would just hang out back here, you know? So, it, the creek is coming up through here. And then it probably dumps out over here. And what I want to know is everything coming up around this creek back into the woods. What would you do right now, man? I saw something come up out of that water. <laughs> Film it from over here. <laughs> um, we're trying to find the right way to go about doing this so we're not going on a private property. Again, the air, what is it called? Aeronautica? <laughs> or Aero something? Now this is the place that, I, that where it sent us. 
old church. So we're gonna try and go inside and speak to the owners of the church and see if they're kosher and do they know anything about that land over there. Nobody's been in this church in a while. It's got cobwebs up. I don't think anybody's here. I'm pretty sure no one's here. Now I'm really curious. I'm sort of almost thinking at night is when we're supposed to come by here. Because the thing's not going to be out in the blind in the, in the sun. It's going to come around at night and this church, I don't think anybody goes to this church. I think it's an old abandoned it's church. Abandoned? Yeah, I think it's 100% abandoned. Maybe because when you... Those cars are parked in front of it at night. Those are probably from the people across the street, I bet. What's interesting is, what makes me think that it is nobody goes here, or it's abandoned, is that the fact that it has a lockbox on it like you do with realtors. Mm -hmm. So we're looking at this little part right here. It looks like mostly collapsed trees with the water coming down through though. But we're looking for some kind of shelter. Like where would, where would this thing stay if it was out here? And if there was more of a covering underneath here, I would say, yeah, maybe it's staying inside of a bunch of collapsed trees underneath it. Because with the, with the way this whole creek is, it's embedded into the ground quite, quite a bit. You know, if you were just walking through here blind, you'd probably run right into it and fall into it. But it just, it makes you wonder if this thing was living out here, what kind of environment would it live in? Would it live under the water? Is there like caves under the water? Would it live in like a, a, a tree? Um, what, what kind of environment would it live in? And we're out here and honestly we feel that what we're looking for wouldn't show up until night. We wouldn't catch anything until nightfall when it had its time to do whatever the hell it needed. There's something right there. And my phone's only at about 4%. Hmm. Look how the heel gets real skinny and then goes. Do you see that? Yeah. So we cut through the creek a little. Now we're just going to walk the edge of the, this little lake bed to see. Whoa, look at that. <laughs> Rabbit got the hell out of here. Where's it at? All the way over there. I would say so far we're not finding much. I think this is a place we're gonna have to come back to at night though. And yeah, we're not gonna hang out here entirely too long because we're probably on some kind of farmer's land based on what I'm seeing. Right here. Yeah, I don't think we should be out here too, too long. No. These people see us look like. Yeah. All right, we'll have to continue this another day, man. See what we get. We're going to go check out that church, though, some more. <laughs> 